Hey guys, I'm just Jershin and welcome to day number six of the Spelunky 30 day challenge. It is a new recording session. Glasses removed, shirt changed, boy has been bathed. And uh, I've also gleaned a lot of wonderful information from your comments. Thank you so much for choosing to leave them. As you know, I went into this series uh, knowing basically nothing about Spelunky other than that, other than that it existed. And uh, your comments have helped out quite a bit. I'm hoping to internalize some of that information. I do apologize if I seem a little... Wait. I'm confused. We paid Tunnel Man a bomb. Under construction. Okay. So this is the Tunnel Man. We paid him a bomb in a previous episode, in day four, I believe. Uh, but I guess the tunnel's not ready yet. I don't know if we have to reach a certain point in the jungles for maybe the shortcuts. I, I saw a comment from our good buddy Fred who did say that you give the Tunnel Man bombs... And he will reward you with shortcuts to certain points. Um, I'm feeling motivated today. My blood pressure, I will say, is also a little bit high. I apologize if that's... Look, it's first run of the day. It's the first run of the day. May take a little bit to, uh, to get a little bit of the rust off. Hopefully not too long, though, because I am feeling quite motivated today. And also, just in general, pretty excited to be playing more Spelunky. It's tough. There's, um, there's a, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. So as you guys know, I recorded like four episodes in, in the last recording session, uh, mostly in the interest of time. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to keep that rock. Um, I recorded, we should be able to not take fall damage from this. Yes. I recorded like four episodes, uh, four, yeah, episodes during, uh, the last recording session. Which is nice because, as you guys know from the update video, I'm a very busy boy. I'm a very busy boy right now. T uh, free time is a little tough to find, so it's nice to sit down and mass record. And also because playing just one... I know it's a Spelunky 30-day challenge, so maybe I should just be recording one a day. But I'll tell you what, this game is too fun. Why? Okay, so I made a huge mistake there and I have to waste a rope. Just big silly of me, not smart. Brain's not quite on yet. I did have my cold brew this morning. What kind of throw was that? I did have my cold brew this morning. Oh, that's dastardly. I did have my cold brew this morning, but I think we have to do this to try to find the damsel. The damsel's got to be over here. Yeah, look at her. Um, it hasn't maybe quite hit the bloodstream yet. So hopefully it does that pretty soon and my brain turns on. That's the other issue is... Ooh, ooh! <laughs> Apologies for screaming your ears off. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit for the, the brain to warm up. And if I'm only... Re Sorry, ma'am. I got to remember the buttons. If I'm only recording one a day, the chances of potential failure, I got to say, are pretty high. Recording a couple in a row is nice. I could kind of build on some stuff, learn from it. The tough thing is going then multiple days without playing Spelunky. Because even though I am bad at this game... Even though I am very bad at this game, I do enjoy playing it quite a bit, so I'd like to be recording more often. Maybe... Uh, I don't quite have the trajectory on some of those throws down yet. I don't quite have the timing down on some of those hits yet. Maybe the answer then would be to, uh, and I've considered this, although it's probably not great for the general interest of time, but maybe... Maybe, just maybe, I should take a look an increase in the length of the episodes. We've been keeping them around 20 or so minutes. This is the exit already, holy cow. Have been keeping them around 20 or so minutes right now, which is nice. Nice short episodes, but sometimes it's a little... Yeah, there's a box over there, so I think it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth... It's tough to get a lot of stuff done in that short time period, so maybe... Maybe I'll record longer. <laughs> I gotta stop hurting myself with rocks, dude. It's like the dumbest damage you could possibly take. Please. Some of the dumbest damage you could possibly take. I've taken a lot of dumb damage in this game so far. So I'm nervous to say that it is the dumbest damage you can take. Did I not get an... Did I, did I get an HP upgrade? Where is there no damsel on this floor? I'm taking a look. Maybe I didn't see her. Maybe she's up in this top left corner. I don't know if it's a guaranteed damsel spawn per floor. Uh, brother, I don't see anything, unfortunately. Just from a quick glance, we could stay around for a little bit longer. We got like two minutes. That man is not selling any- oh! oh! Okay, 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 okay. Thought I fell too far. 
I'm not seeing any HP here. We may die here. It's okay. First run's always to get the rust off. We're gonna make it back to the jungle today. I don't know why I feel that way. I just woke up feeling a little bit dangerous. Like Baker Mayfield, feeling a little uh, motivated, perhaps. Although I will say my blood pressure... Yeah, we just don't want to go over there. There's a, an arrow trap. My blood pressure... I think I have to do this. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... I wanted to just simply place the bomb on the trap so that it would uh, explode, but we ended up getting about the same result either way because uh, it, it fired the arrow, which is really, really good for us. Um, not seeing anything too fancy here. What the heck is that? Oh, is that another freaking Shrine of the Silver Monkey? I don't know if I'm down. What the heck is that? Oh, I don't want to buy a lady. That There's some ethical dilemmas there, and I don't know that I really am a huge fan of this. I could buy a kiss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, I don't feel as bad about it. I thought I was gonna purchase a lady. I was, oh crap. No! Oh. Okay, so the, you see my dilemma here. There's an arrow trap beneath us. You think this is too far a drop, I'll take damage? It's, po it's possible, so watch this. It's my last rope, just drop. I did not take damage, which is wonderful. Okay, so thankfully there, it looks like that's the first time we found that particular variety of shop, and oh my goodness, riches as far as the eye can see. That's the first time we've seen that particular variety of shop where you just buy kisses, which are, which are basically just uh, HP, which I think is pretty valuable, to be honest with you. Now, we could, we could go up there and grab that. I don't know that there's a safe out for me. And, uh, I don't know, the money could be kind of valuable, but I think at this point in the game, I'm, I'm not going to try to get too fancy. Let's see if we can make it back to the jungle. We've only been to the jungle one time, and we survived for about 15 seconds before I jumped straight into a, a knockoff piranha plant and was eaten. I'd like to avoid that. Anyway, ooh, yeah, apologies if I'm a little, if my blood pressure seems like it's a little higher than normal. Before this... I saw a video, I was scrolling through Facebook, which is always an instant, instantaneous way to raise the blood pressure. Why am I fighting this man? There's nothing over here. It's pretty much an instantaneous way. Hiya! An instantaneous way to raise the blood pressure. And uh, yeah, this video was no different. It was a compilation of a player in Fall Guys. <laughs> have you heard of Fall Guys? It's a new game. Some people have heard about it. Um, it was a compilation of a player trolling other players in Fall Guys and, oh boy, grabbing them so that they fall off, holding them so they get yeeted. There's pretty much... I still don't know what the Pharaoh's Eye does. Perhaps a comment told me and I maybe missed it. Um, maybe it would be spoilies to know exactly what it does. But at this point in my life, I don't know what the heck that does. Um, it, it's basically, what the heck? Hulk hands? Did you, anybody else used to have these when you were a kid? I used to have Hulk hands. Used to punch my brother straight in his jugular with these bad boys. What is it? Climbing gloves. They protect your hands and let you cling? No way. Can I be actual Spider-Man? <gasps> what? What? Oh my goodness. I mean, that seems broken. Is that a great item or am I crazy? That seems amazing. Okay, so maybe I'm, again, maybe I'm just presuming me thinks the lady doth protest too much. That seems like a great item. Not only do I basically not even have to worry about ropes anymore. Like I can just cling on to whatever I want like Spider-Man. Interesting they themed it after Hulk as the climbing gloves instead of like a Spider-Man sticky hands type of thing. Look at this, I would normally have to waste a rope to go out and do some more exploring. That is a great item. I'm sorry, cape. I know I got pretty excited when we had the cape the other day. I think that may, I think that might, ooh, I unearthed the gem. I think that may, okay, time's getting low, so let's just get out of here, brother. And also, sun's getting low, haha, it's Hulk. Get off the wall, please. Um, that may 
dethroned the cape as my favorite my favorite item so far that we've come across. The shotgun's really good too, don't get me wrong. Hello there, I'm the tunnel man. I was digging a shortcut, but a deep pit is in my way. Uh, okay, this explains why the, the, the thing was not finished. I thought one bomb was all he needed. No, I have to win multiple times, that's understandable. This does mean giving up our last rope, which is kind of scary, but... We have climbing gloves, so I kind of feel like the rope is less of a necessity. And this man seems important. He's going to create a shortcut so we can go straight to the jungle if we want to. Maybe learn a little bit more about the jungle instead of just making our way through the mines over and over. Thanks, you won't regret it. I certainly hope that. We're also going to get a kiss from the damsel. I believe that brings us up to 4 HP total. 4? Four? 4 HP total. Okay. Okay. Get off the wall. Okay, I haven't quite figured out how to go down. So let's 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 take a moment. Thank you, Spelunky Gods. I'm glad to be back in the jungle. It feels good. Now let's remember things can go horribly wrong horribly quickly. For example, I don't know what this strange Sarlacc pit there is. Those seem to be piranhas, which I am just not here for, to be honest with you. We also have small frogs, big frogs, a caveman with a large belly. What do you do? Are you like the rats on the first floor? Can I just hold you? Adorable. It's adorable, dude. I would like to murder this man if possible. It seems impossible. Okay. Okay. So you know what? Throw the frog. I'm sorry. So this is a little scary. So we have time spike traps. These look like spikes. Oh, okay. Do those only come out of one side? Do they come out of both sides? Okay. We have a timed spike trap. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. You gotta be very precise with the platforming here. Otherwise you may find yourself in an unsavory position. Can I kill you? I don't know if I can kill you, dude. I see the exit though. So I'm kind of tempted to just go. I see the exit and I'm semi-tempted to just go. I do feel like it might benefit us to explore a little bit more about the jungle. We got two boys there. I see those spikes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, what do we have over there? A damsel had to watch a man explode right in front of her very eyes. Um, question is, would I like to use a bomb? I, I would, but not there. Get off the wall. The climbing gloves are a little obnoxious from that perspective. I may need to learn how to use them. <laughs> um, but I think with climbing gloves in hand, spider, I don't see a reason not to come down here. Maybe place another bomb here. Jump. Unlock access to the damsel. Say hello. Gotta go a little quick here. Only got like 15 seconds before bad things happen. So let's try to, come on. Come on, stop donking your head. Stop, stop, panic, panic, stop panicking. Stop panicking, you're not at a disco. You're not at the disco. You got plenty of time. Three, two, one. All right, damsel's been saved into jungle 2-2. Two -two. Whew, little scary there. Took a little bit longer than I wanted. Okay, so climbing gloves, they have a little bit of a... I think they're still universally really good, but there's a little bit of, did you ever watch Into the Spider-Verse? You should if you haven't. It's a great, great animated Spider-Man film. When he first realizes, when Miles first realizes that he has his powers and he's sticking to everything, he's got like papers all over him, he can't get his hand off the wall. There's a little bit of an element of that to the climbing gloves where I keep sticking to stuff. I just got here. There's a, what are you, red frog? What are you? Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Does he explode? Was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. I think are the words, which makes no sense. Frogs don't drink wine. Have you ever heard of a frog that drinks wine? I haven't, but Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Let's continue going here. We're making good progress through the jungle so far. This is, a, I told you, I woke up feeling a little dangerous today. Still, be very careful. 
Keep an eye on where you're going. Another exploding frog down there. I'm none too concerned. So far, the jungle. Granted, we haven't been here for very long. But so far... The jungle doesn't... Oh, the whole tree! <gasps> okay. <laughs> so far... The jungle does not seem that much more dastardly. What is that? Do you see? <gasps> Once again, have you seen an Indiana Jones movie? Now, thankfully, this did not send a giant hurtling boulder to come and destroy me, but it did collapse the floor beneath us, which isn't great. Okay, how do you... We gotta figure out how to do that a little bit more efficiently. I also don't see the exit. Oh no. Oh no, am I in trouble? Uh oh, I might be trapped. Oh, the climbing gloves, he's a genius, okay. I don't see the exit, we got a minute, I'm just... Shoot, uh... Good stuff, explode. Okay, don't, don't kill the damsel. Okay, damsel's alive. We gotta move kinda quickly here. We gotta move semi quickly here. I got about 20 seconds. Is this the end? There's the end, baby. Okay, look, I would love to go back. You know what, I will go ahead, I have some money. Drop. I will go ahead and buy the spike shoes because I think they're pretty good. I'll buy the compass because why the heck not? You should have just left. You should have just left. You should have just went to the next floor. You should have just went to the next floor. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why would you not just go to the next floor? You got greedy. You, you saw you had a bunch of jingling change in your pocket and you said, I'm gonna go spend a little pretty penny. Now you're not even gonna get that kiss. You saved the damsel for nothing. All right, so I don't know how much HP we had there at the end. Are those tiki traps just a straight up one hit KO? Like they'll just kill you in one hit? I don't love that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a fantastic run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack one more on to the end here. Just cause like I said, I think I wanna make them a little bit longer and a little bit of extra practice never hurt anybody. So I think, I think it makes sense to go ahead and continue. The only way we're gonna get better is through continued practice. How do you think Tom Brady does it? The only way to get a little bit better, sorry ma'am is through continued practice. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> the only way we're gonna get better is through continued practice, so that's what I'm doing here. We're gonna do one more quick run here. See how far we can make it. You know, I'm not, uh... Okay, before we go down there, let's just see if there's anything else on the floor. Uh, nothing that would we would be able to get without spending a rope, which I don't think is worth it, to be 100% honest with you. Um... Look, fine first floor, gonna get an HP upgrade. Didn't do as much exploring as we could have done. Didn't get a lot of money either, which is a little upsetting, but we're just doing a quick one here to, to try to refine these fine motor skills. This game requires, I was thinking about this the other day and I, I talked about it. I talked about it in a, a duty selling whole cans. <gasps> I don't know, the whole cans kind of hurt us in the last one. I, I don't know how I feel about the whole cans. Let me know in the in the comments. Are the whole cans typically considered like a pretty solid item and uh, I just misused them? Or maybe I just need to get used to the weird sticking to the wall mechanic? I will say it would be nice for a situation like this. I will use a rope here. Man, we also were just pretty, uh, if I could make one complaint about the last run. Two big spiders, by the way. Sorry, one big spider. I think, maybe, I can't tell. If I can make one complaint about the last run, we were pretty uh, resource poor. We did not have a lot of bombs. Okay, we'll grab this, see the arrow trap. We did not have a lot of bombs. I don't like this because I'll be honest, not what I wanted to do there. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, 
if I could learn one thing from this episode, and you should try to learn one thing, that's the point of this Spelunky 30 day challenge. Try to learn something every single time you play it, get a little bit better. If I could give myself one piece of advice for this particular episode going forth, there's one lesson to be gleaned from this entire thing. Just take the exit. At this point in the game, stop trying to be fancy with it because you end up getting taking stupid damage you don't need to or dying outright. If you get to the exit, we could have gone back and got the whole cans, by the way. We did get enough money there. If you find the exit, I think it's smart to just go ahead and take it at this point in the game. Okay, you know what else? We already admitted that this run We already admitted to ourselves the whole point of this run is to do a little bit of learning. Hello, sir. I've never seen this. Nacho's Wheel of Prizes. 2,500 gold to spin the wheel? Sure, why not? He's got two oil barrels sitting behind the door. We could maybe win. Although, do you take damage if you hit a skull? No way. Big money, no whammies. I won the jackpot. I don't know how much money that is. Um, Keep spending, dude. What, what I mean, you're gonna... <laughs> I, dude, look, this is not good. If you've ever been to a casino, you know the rules. If you win any money, get the heck out of there. You're probably not going to win anymore. Skull, am I going to... Okay, Skull is just a lose. Not a big deal. Um, I don't know how much time I want to spend here. Probably not a ton because it's a little dangerous. Give me the prize. Give me a big prize. <gasps> dude, my luck is so good. What is this? Journal entry. Is it a jetpack? Jetpack. The coolest way to travel. Fuel replenishes while you're on the ground. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming. Oh, ho, 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 dude. Oh my gosh. If ropes were useless before, my goodness, are they use? Wait, useful? Useless. If ropes were useless before, my. Do you see the spider heck? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay. Whew. No, my sticky bombs are very sick. Okay, we're wasting a lot of bombs here, aka literally all of them. Is that a great use of resources? Probably not. Oh shoot, also Ghost Man's coming. More bombs, okay, hold on. Kill him, kill him. I know Ghost Man's coming, but I think we got this. Terrible chill runs up your spine. Believe me, I'm very concerned about that, I promise you. Believe me, I'm very concerned about that. Where is the exit, dude? Where is the exit, dude? This jetpack seems lit, by the way. This jetpack seems lit. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. So, I saw you there, but I didn't react fast enough. So, something. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. We're gonna have to be uh, a serious man here. We're gonna fly around him. Oh, oh, take me down to the river bed. Take me down to fighting it. Watch out for the big spider, he'll kill you. So will the little one, don't let him follow you! Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming a terrible chill runs up your spine means there's gonna be big spiders everywhere. We wasted a lot of bombs there. We did get the jetpack on that floor. Unfortunately, I only have one HP left. <sighs> and a curse of darkness right, right afterwards. As if it wasn't bad enough before. We now have a curse. Apologies, that was the sound of pure fear leaving a man's diaphragm. Um, 
I didn't know those boys had such a range on them. I thought he would scuttle over to me slowly. Instead, he leapt at me like a like a demon. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will say that's a successful episode. It's better than day five. That's for sure. Day five was a failure. Today, we made it. Uh, how far do we make it? 2-2? Could have made it to 2-3, but I was stupid and stood in a spike instead. Probably could have maybe gotten towards the end of the jungle. And also had a decent run there. Learned about the climbing guns. Learned about the jetpack. Insert all of this information into your brain. Build upon it. We'll be back tomorrow with day number seven. One week in the books. Pretty good progress already for only one week, I think. I don't know how long the game is, but... Um, We'll be back with day seven tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider showing support down below in the form of liking, commenting, subscribing. All help out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow.